just take a look at it. So let's go to my website, which is offline. I'm going to open up two things here. Here is my hosting company. The hosting company that I've got is um, Black Knight. So I'm just going to log into there. So let's go to Black Knight Solutions, log into my account. So whatever website domain you've asked, you just It'll give you some space here. Okay, so we'll move away from that. We don't need two steps, two, 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 two phases. <clears throat> All right, so essentially, you know, you're going to get some file space on it. So here's my websites. And I've used this as the Minimus package, which I think is four euros a month. And I, this domain name I've got, I've basically just um, taking this domain name for, for a year. It's not very expensive. It's not a very common name, ahensman.com. And um, that's my DNS for it. It's got its own, it's got its own kind of um, IP address on the Black Knight server, and this is the DNS that I use. Okay. So basically then we want to think about the hosting. So think about getting the information from the file manager, which I have here. And here's all my files. Now I'm actually going to just wipe all of that because that's that's WordPress. Okay, so I'm just going to really just delete everything because I, I don't want it there. Okay, so I'm removing absolutely everything there. Um, just remove, unable to remove that. That's fine. I can't get rid of that one. Okay, so it's got rid of um, most of what I have. It's basically cleared this space. So this is our root directory. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I need to install WordPress online. You have to have WordPress installed on your online. And if we look here, this is, this is clear. Let me try and clear as much of this off as possible so that you're not seeing multiple tabs. So get rid of webs. Um, okay, so there's my local host. Remember, this is offline because it's local host. This is me managing my local host offline. I'm managing the offline. OK, so what I need to do is I basically need to recreate this. This is this is my website offline as local host. This is my management of the website offline as local host. All of that exists on this directory on the C drive. If you've used MAMP, it'll be on your MAMP directory. If you use Laragon, it'll be on your Laragon directory. It all exists there offline. And what you need to do is basically somehow have that exact system recreated online onto your little section that Black Knight give you or your little section that um, Infinity Free give you. So here's my Infinity Free. And you'll see I've already got a website. I've already got WordPress installed there. So there's HT Docs, and I've got on my Infinity Free a little uglyish WordPress site, okay? Uh, that looks like like so. There it is. Okay. Okay. Something's. Let's just leave it. We're we're putting it online anyway. Um. So, well, w what do we need to do? Well, the first thing you're gonna have to do is install WordPress. So on your site, I have just some. I have ahensman.com connected to some hosting space. I've got my minimus. I got 200 gigabytes, more than enough. Um. To place I've literally got nothing on it, I've no traffic, I've cleared out everything. Okay, so you can go to this basically, it's HP, FTP access, it's called. Um, every, every one of these will have a sort of a web applications. So on the Infinity Free, uh, you get, I just got the control panel there, it'll give me a bunch of applications that you want. So they for Infinity Free, you'll you'll go and I don't want to support Infinity Free here because it's only got 10 gigabytes. My website is huge at this point. Um, it, it's got all the applications that, that it needs installed, installed and visible. And if you need to put something new on it, you can just go to it's called soft telecute. That's what they use. I never use it really. It's an app installer. And that will install WordPress for you. So then you can just take that and you can say, okay, well now I'm going to install WordPress 
on Infinity Free. Uh, just do a quick install, and that is hopefully installing WordPress onto my little little space here. And um, where's my my login details there? So my admin, I want to call this me, and um, that's my password. So I just grab that so I have it. So this is my Infinity Free stuff. And just take that as the password since since that's what it is. So this is gonna be my my WordPress place, you know? And that's my admin email, that's fine. Um give it a theme. I don't want to pick any old theme. I don't know if I can even pick one of these themes because it may not be big enough, you know. Uh oh, thank you very much, the connection. So there's let's try to do it now. It's installing WordPress for me. Um that's going to take a while. Check and submit the data. Let, maybe at least we can go to other tabs. I'll leave Infinity Free to do that. Let's go back to Black Knight, okay? So we need to have Black Knight the same thing. I need to have a Hensman and I need to have in Black Knight, sorry, on my whatever, wherever it is, I need to have WordPress installed there. Okay, so um, let's see what's available. So I need to get WordPress basically installed on my on my live site. Okay, can I just stop the infinity free one because it's going to be it's taking up all the time. Can I somehow stop this? I shouldn't have done that. It's going to take up half the all of my processor time by doing that. Okay, it's not. But that's, okay, it hasn't taken up all my time, so I can still do it. So this is me now looking for something. Okay, well, so what do you want to install? These are the common things people like. Okay, people like WordPress. They like Joomla. Okay, you got Joomla and you got Drupal. They're like WordPress, content management system. That's fair enough. Um, forget about the e-commerce and all that stuff. Okay, and you have Typo 1, Typo 3. WordPress is a content management, so we're going to install this, okay? So here is me now installing. It's going to say, well, you're going to need a database, and you're going to need PHP. Most will come with that. I mean, there's no point. No, you're never going to get hosting that can't deal with the database. Okay, so just install WordPress here. So here's my URL path to go to my path at theahensman.com slash WordPress. We can sort some redirections out later like we did originally. And now I need this is this is my my Black Knight stuff. So I guess that bit there was infinity free details, which just my infinity free stuff. Here's my Black Knight stuff. So it's admin, and this is a, this is the database. Remember when you first installed you fair you first installed WordPress and you used Mr. Brightside. This is Mr. Brightside here. Make sense? Right, so maybe we try and save that so I don't lose it. Now I see it's one o'clock. If you want to go, you very much free to go. Please do. I don't want to keep you longer than you have, especially people are telling me they have to work and all kinds of responsibilities happening. Uh, I'm going to continue this probably better than less than 10 minutes. It'll be this. You, the WordPress website will be live in five minutes that I just made. Okay. Um, so I'll just get that. There's my admin Black Knight. Save it there. I'll overwrite that. So, so if you have to go, please do. Don't hang around further. Um, okay. So I see the numbers with 19 over here. Yeah. Please head around. Do not expect. Don't presume you have to stay. I'm not going to waste your time uh, by keeping you here further than one o'clock. So if you have to go. Uh, that's fine, but I'm going to continue the recording and it'll be available as a recording. Okay, so um, you have to go. Great. Otherwise, it's fine. Hang on. Right. So WordPress. This is me now installing WordPress. Remember, Mr. Brightside. Same idea. Now I have a real email address. Okay, I've actually got an email address that it's going to send its stuff to. So applications title. We don't care about any of that. So I just want to get any website built because I'm going to overwrite this website when I use the plugin to export it. Okay, so that web. That's now kind of done, I think. Uh, WordPress admin, that's my password. That's everything there. So yep, finish that. This is now installing WordPress onto my little bit of space that I've got. 
Uh, oh God, lost this unforeseen error. Shouldn't be too bad. Should be all right. Okay, so ahensman.com. Let's go back and it should tell us now. We should see that um, WordPress should be installed. If I look at my web applications, it'll say you have. Yeah, there you go. You have now. You have your WordPress installed. Okay, so you have your WordPress installed, and I'm going to log into that WordPress now. Okay, and all I want to do is get to the dashboard. Okay, so now we go and um, I need my dashboard basically. It doesn't even ask me to log in. So here's my this is this is now WordPress on ahensman.com. Now ahensman.com has nothing on it. Okay, it's just got WordPress at all. Let's look at Edge and see it. There's my original one. There is something there. So yeah, so good on you. Um, Infinity Free has done its job and it's giving me a very basic site. Okay. So Infinity Free has has measured up. Now all I've done on Infinity Free is I've just I don't know why it's still showing that level of status, but Infinity Free and I'm purposely using Edge here so that I'm not logged in. But it's installed the very basic blog, um, you know, with uh, I think that's 21. So you can go in there and you can essentially um, we can go on to that blog by using our infinity free stuff. So there, what did I say? It's a Hensman and then this this thing here. So there's a Hensman that website there, that, that thing there. Okay, it's giving me a bit of grief there, but it doesn't matter. I'll do it on, on Black Knight. It's the same thing. So essentially, you just got to install any old WordPress site and get into it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn that any old website that you just installed into what we've been working on on the C drive local host for the last 10 weeks. Do, do you understand? OK, so yeah, this is the real stuff. All the nice gizmos here. And all the plugins and all the UX design is on our C drive on the local host website. We we can only do this by installing some little dummy website that we're eventually going to overwrite. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure I can why well, I can't get onto that, but I'll do it on I'll do it on um, you know on Black Knight. So this is the Infinity Free version of the same thing. Once you have WordPress installed, you can then just go into the dashboard and turn your dummy little website into the one that you've been working on for the past six weeks or whatever it's been. OK, so that's 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 what migration means. Um, I don't understand what the, what's theme of I Anna. Is that a, is that a hosting, is it? I don't know what that is. Let me just get through this. Maybe we come to that in a, qu in a question in a second. I don't want to get too sidetracked here because we've, we've run out of time. I know I know you all got things to do. Right, so let's go to our dashboard on WordPress control panel. OK, now here we are. This is the dashboard on. Um, this is the dashboard on the local host. This is my dashboard on local host. This is this, this is the WordPress being used in like the C drive. This is the dashboard of the WordPress that's installed on ahensman.com that I just installed there. Any of the hosting companies will allow you to do this. You can see I don't have any plugins installed on my hosted. I just got this Hello Dolly is the only plugin I got installed there. OK, and then you can see on this one right beside it on this local host dashboard, I have all of my standard plugins and code snippets involved. OK, and I got all these plugins there. And we want to basically somehow get everything that's here on this dashboard onto this dashboard. That's what migration means. And you can do that manually, like I got in that little article there, or you can do this using a plugin. So what I'm going to do now is use a plugin. We'll be done in a few minutes now. The plugin I'm using is all in one WordPress migration. You can see I've got that installed there, okay? All in one WordPress migration. That's just a basic plugin which is designed to turn your local host site into something that can be uploaded to your site that you have online. Is that making sense to everybody? The way I'm describing it, I'm kind of going through this fast. All in one. This is not all in one. This is not one of those Elementor type things that is a silver bullet sort of online shopping will do your thinking for you. 
This is just all in one WordPress migration. So I've installed this plugin, just like we've been installing plugins for the last few weeks, okay? Um, and remember, this is on the this side here. So what I want to do here is essentially I need to export my entire WordPress database, everything. I want to export everything that's here. Now, there's a few things. I can say fine text. This is something that's commonly used. People say, oh, well, you know what? Since I'm working offline, I might like get root because I don't want this to be available for security reasons. Root and replace that with like a Hensman or something like that. It's just forget about it. I don't think it's worth your trouble at this stage uh, to worry about that. Just leave it. You, you know, you get these these kind of um, security features can be made done later. Your job here is not as a security IT professional. Your job is as a digital media professional to know how to take full life cycle of a WordPress site through installation, um, you know, themes, post pages, categories, plugins, code snippets, and now migration. Okay, so here I'm going to export everything. This is everything I've been working on on this. This is my local host site. It's um, all this stuff here, okay? All this stuff here, which does not appear on ahensman.com. I want to sort of get that to do so. Okay, all our comments and our, you know, pictures and all that business there and funny comments and, and code with it. All that stuff has to be exported. So we do that from the local host and I'm gonna export this as a file. Okay, we don't need to put the Dropbox or anything, just a simple file uh, on my computer. Okay, so it's got a lot of stuff in it, even though it's not a big website. Still got a lot of stuff in it. And uh, I think Infinity Free gives you 10 gigabytes, which causes a kind of problem. All right, so we'll, we'll see. I will see if this goes. I may have to do it. So there's, it's done. Uh, download all of that. I'm just going to download this. It's Look what it's called. It's called WordPress. It's got this funny name, 202, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me just copy that name or take a screenshot. I'll remember it. Uh, dot WordPress, but don't go changing anything else. Don't change the name of that, okay? Just download it, and uh, it'll put it into the downloads directory as if that was there. It is there, okay? So localhost WordPress, that, that's done everything. It's wrapped up everything. Now, if you're to do this manually, you just get the database, the SQL database. I, I, I suggest you just use a plugin. Using a plugin for migration is not like using a plugin for doing everything other aspect of your thinking for you. It's very reasonable to use a plugin for migration um, rather than just take do the database only and then build the whole thing up on the other end of it. So here is everything. That's what I need. OK, so I need to keep an eye on where that is. Uh, just download that 115. OK, so that's kind of done now. So there's not much else really to deal with localhost anymore. It's kind of goodbye to the C drive. Yeah, it was nice knowing you. You served your purpose. We're now going to go online. Okay, so now we go to our Black Knight, or in this case, it's the Infinity Free control panel. All right, and I don't seem to be able to get access to my Infinity Free one, but it, it works exactly the same. So here is my um, Infinity Free. I've installed WordPress on Infinity Free using Soft Tulicious. And I just need to get access. I've forgotten my details, essentially. That's what that is. I've forgotten my password, you know. But it, it works the same. Um, it works the same on on any of these sites. You just need to get access to your dashboard on your site. So here we're no longer using localhost. I'm using ahensman.com, WordPress. And this is my dashboard. Okay, so if you're using Infinity Free, it's, it's going to be the same thing. It's, there's .rf, .gd. WordPress login, and you need to just get to the WordPress dashboard on your online side of things. OK, so here I am on my online side of things. Now, what I need to do is I need to go and get that plugin again. So if you've wrapped everything up using a particular plugin here, WordPress, you've exported it. Well, I need to unwrap it, and I need to use exactly the same plugin to unwrap it. OK, so let's go and get that same plugin. So we say all in one WordPress migration. You'll notice that it is not installed here the way it was installed um, with code snippets and everything else on the local host. It is not installed here, so I want to install it. Okay, so here it is, and it's very important that you use the same one. Again, I think that should be obvious that you use the same um, 
the same plugin you use to wrap it up and export it, you need to use the same plugin to unwrap it and import it. OK, so that'll take a second or two. And um, we'll get that done. So this this is all you got to do. You don't need to do any kind of serious like 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 it doesn't really matter if you do this manually or not. Now that PDF that I've placed, I've placed placed a little PDF file into here. You can see it there. That'll show you how to do it manually, and it'll show you how to do it using a plugin. Okay, um, I'd suggest just sort of um, maybe follow these steps. I see you're commenting there, by the way, it's a free website builder. Um, it's a theme kind of like a dream. I, I, I'd suggest um, not to use it, to be honest, Anna. I wouldn't use it. You can you can use any theme that you get from WordPress, but I, I wouldn't. The whole point of buying a theme, so using a theme is that you use the theme and then you do the work yourself to refine it. But I, I think a free website builder is it's kind of not what we're about in this course. You know, it's technical course, and we want to see how all the elements fit together under the bonnet, technically, including all the plugins that you use to build your web page. So if you've used a website builder to build that web page for you, it robs you of the opportunity to using plugins, you know. So I'd probably veer away from it if I were you. I think you can do a better job. I think you'll do better jobs than your own. If you use plugins, you'll make them look better. These these website builders are cookie cutter stuff you know you'll do a better you'll make it look better on your own by using your own kind of styles okay so here we are um that's been installed i don't know if that answers your question by the way anna but thanks for appreciate uh you mentioning these things about elementor and about um themify and also francis's comment there and justin's comment about you know why you use plugins in the first place so i do appreciate your your um it's one of those situations, you know, on teaching online. I, I don't know how harshly I'm coming across. I can't see any of your, I get the impression I'm completely scaring you and freaking you out a week before, which I'm not trying to do. Okay, I'm trying to be realistic. Okay. Um, all right, anyway, all in one migration. So it's not, it's not activated, let's activate that there. Okay, so activate all in one migration. Come on, there it is, and it's there on our online server. So all in one migration. Now we don't go export because we've nothing to export. There is nothing on this. This is a nothing site. There is literally not a single post on this. OK, so what I want to do is I want to turn this nothing site into this nice site that we've been working on or I've been just using for example purposes, you know, your website. So we want to get your nice site you've been working on onto this nothing site and we do that by well import so now import okay so we get that and it's going to say well import from where and you go and you say well import from a file you can actually drag and drop this but let's just for demo demo purposes do it this way so that should be in your downloads and there it is that's the one i wrapped up from my local host and now i want to get this to my server whether that's infinity free it doesn't matter it's the same thing you got to have your wordpress installed on your other on your online site so that's good to go and uh it's quick enough it's not got too much in it i haven't been filling it with huge videos or anything and uh it gives me a few this is the hard part the next bit i'm gonna do it right it's easy to do but just make sure you get you get it right okay now it gives me a few kind of um warnings that's a warning sign the import process will override everything you've done, including your hello dolly and whatever. So if you've been building something on this, you're basically telling this command, you know, it's like, yeah, you do need to have a WordPress site built on your hosted site to do this, but it's, you know, you're going to override everything. Okay, you're turning your, you know, you've built a space that's called WordPress but you're going to turn it into everything that you've just imported here. It's giving you that warning. We don't care because you haven't got anything on, on, on there anyway yet. So proceed. And um, it's going to give me some kind of warnings about configuration files, such as WP admin, so WP config, the stuff we looked upon in the very first class. So it's going to say, well, okay, your permalinks are set to default. Okay, so you're going to need to change them. 
that's the kind of settings. Do you, do you know what I mean? And it's going to say, well, you can review this plugin because it's going to it's installed the plugin, and you can you, you don't need to install everything. You've got a lot of plugins there on your last site, uh, Mister. That's what it's, that's what that's basically saying. saying you, you're you're putting a lot of plugins in there. Are you sure you need them all? You know, it's saying, are you sure you need all these different plugins there um, from your import, and I'm quite sure, having thought about it. And now we go and finish. Okay. Um, okay. So basically now. Um, we have to do a couple of things. We need to go to settings and bump, 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 database update required. What this is saying is you built some weird default website there on Black Knight with admin and blah, 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 blah. Okay. And you just overrode everything. And in order to get to admin, you were signed on as Joanne. Okay, you've just wiped everything on that last website, so we need to update the WordPress so you can sign on as Joanne. And it's update complete. It's going to now ask me to sign in. And who do I sign in as? I don't sign in as this kind of little automated weird website it gave me. I sign in as Joanne, who I've been working as the last week. So the last two weeks, I've been a section effectively as my my pen name, I guess, for the last two weeks. Here I am, Joanne 2021, right? And this should log me in as Joanne, but I'm logged in online. Well, hey, now we are. And what have we got? Plugins. And I've got all my fancy stuff, but disable comments and hello Dolly and all in one and all my code snippets. I go to my code snippets and online here i have all my code snippets with the word count and the minimum common length and all that good stuff there still have my all-in-one migration i don't really need it anymore uh, but don't be so quick to get rid of it all right because that we do need it for one little tiny thing in settings you got to go to settings here and as you can see in settings now we've got a lot of weird stuff happening okay uh save activate we no longer get the you know the the urls and all that stuff i would suggest don't really even think about this too much. You just need to save it because these are not saved. It's overwriting your settings. Look at the settings in this. When I go to settings offline, here's offline settings. This is all set up from my computer. This is all this is all like local host setup. We're not on the local host anymore. Do you know what I mean? And we're not dealing with like a computer with its own little IP address. You know, so the, you have to update those settings. Uh, it's basically saying, well, okay, the settings of what you just imported are all about local host. We're not on local host anymore. We're on the real, in, the real internet. So just click save. And for some strange reason, which I don't want to go into now, you seem to have to do save twice. So to avoid any hassle, just press save twice. Let's not get into the technicalities of why that is. All right. Um, so you can go to the dashboard. We have everything we need. We have all of our nice posts and all of our categories of jewelry and Christmas and all that stuff. Um, but now when I go to settings, the general settings, we have it looking kind of like what I had before, right? So you can see here is WordPress and we need to delete WordPress because I don't want to just see ahensman.com slash WordPress. I want ahensman.com. Okay. And uh, save that. Boom. So that's pretty much set up. I no longer need my local host. Goodbye, local host. You, you served as well. We're now online. And as Bernard was saying earlier, can I tweak this online? Absolutely, I can tweak it online. I can add new posts and I can do everything else I need to do. You see what I mean? Now I've got all my 12 comments all there. Everything is there. I can just work away online and do all the tweaking online. It would probably be a bad idea to start from scratch online because you've got so much to do and it's going to take it's very time consuming to work online because uploading is literally pulling files all over the internet you know um so that can take a little bit of time to do that but let's see if it worked okay so here we go there's my infinity free one well my infinity free one is installed i just kind of forgot the password basically that's there and uh, let's say if ahensman.com is there now as well okay so slash wordpress and I need to change the font. There it is, CDM Jewelry Ireland. So ahensman.com. Whereas I need to change the index file, which is just a redirection. It's not a big deal. You know, I can't get access. I don't want to do that right now. For you, for your purposes, I'll be more than happy if you can get I don't know, one of your names, joeblogs.com. 
slash WordPress and you get your website looking like this, I will be absolutely delighted. It will meet the criteria for migration. OK, there's my website migrated online. If I put that into the blog, you'll be able to see it yourself. So there you go. There's the website migrated. Done. Module over. <laughs> All right, there you go. If you can do that and you can get something that looks like this so that your website then appears online, I'm going to be delighted. OK, somehow get that website to appear online. Now I can change that. I need to do some redirecting. You remember the way we did this at the very beginning? I had to open the index file and I have to go in to rewrite that index file. I don't want to do it right now. Uh, it'll confuse you and I don't want to confuse you on anything more. Uh, I think that's quite a simple procedure to get that online. So if I go Black Knight looks very much like um, Black Knight looks looks very much like my, you know, uh, what do you call it? The, so I, the hasty act. I, I need to change this index with this PHP file. Remember the way we did it earlier? OK, so I need to just view it and change it so that I redirect this index file to the, to the Word. Now, you can't even see the WordPress file. It's all protected. It's all in there as a protected file for security reasons. That doesn't matter to you. You don't care about any of that stuff. So once we change that index file, it'll go to ahensman.com. But to be honest with you, I'll be happy if you can just have your local host upload of anything. I'm not going to go penalizing people. Um, if you can get it that far, that's, that's good enough for me, I guess, you know, but like to do that, you'd have to change the, do you remember the way we changed the index file ages ago? It's week two stuff. Do you remember the way we did that? So we just need to change the, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to go here, go to Laragon. I'm going to have to go here. I have to open up that index file, uh, edit with notepad. So we're not on the local host anymore. So I need to sort of say, hey, hensman.com slash WordPress, blah, 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 blah. OK, so I can't just say from the current directory, I need to say what your actual file is. So ahensman.com slash WordPress, go here, redirect to here. OK, so whenever anyone opens the index on ahensman.com, it redirects to ahensman.com. I need to actually type it in there, etc. OK, so you need to type that redirection in just like we did in the first week. And what you got to do is upload it so we'll have to go here and i'll need to sort of upload my new index file and put it in there okay i don't want to do that now because it'll change things a bit too much i think it's a simpler process just to do what i did there so install to recap on that you basically have to reinstall your wordpress onto the online space you've got as a dummy installation, it's a nothing installation almost, just like I've got on Affinity Free there. Just re just install WordPress. And then in order to get your um, local host version of it across, you can use a plugin. And the plugin I've chosen is all in one. That's what most people use. Don't confuse that with the all in one plugin, which builds your website and does all your thinking for you. It's just a migration tool which allows you to import or export or make backup of your website. It exports this to one single file. It wraps everything up into a WPress file. The only thing that you really need to consider is that when you go to your hosted side of things, that it, uh, you know, it can't export that. The other side, it can't. Uh, it's, you've got to use the same tool. Okay. Now, I think just to kind of finish up here, I think that. This this uh, Infinity Free has a 10 gigabyte um, option. I think it's only 10 gigabytes. I'm not 100% sure. I'll try that very quickly now. But you know, if you you, you know, if I if I that's installation installations. I already got I've got one. I'm trying to get onto WordPress there. I'm gonna try and get onto WordPress here. Um, no, it's installed. I want to look at WordPress. It's slightly different because they use this soft. Oculus, whatever the thing they call it there. Um, I've forgotten my password. I don't seem to be able to get in without the password. So this is the WordPress installed. If you want to get into it, you'll just need your WP admin. And the same thing then when you go, I think it's because I had one yesterday and I've overwritten it. That's what I've done. So I'll, I'll try this again one more time and see. I've overwritten something really stupidly from what I did yesterday. I had this installed yesterday and I think it's got the password from yesterday. I can let me try and I'm sure I can find it quick enough. 
once I'm not being recorded, let's say, I'll find it fairly easily what the password is. But uh, if you do this kind of import, basically what I'm trying to say is if you do the import and you try to import something over 10 gigabytes, Infinity Free won't allow more than 10 gigabytes. So the way to solve that is just trim down your website with no photographs or something like that. Okay, look, that's how you do it. So do you all understand what I did there? It's, not, it's really not that complicated. It's just once you use the plugin. You know, you just got to build WordPress on one side and on the other side and kind of migrate them across. So Bernard is asking, we use dummy, use dummy username password to get WordPress on Black Knight or Infinity Free or anywhere else. Yes, you do. So that we can download it, but we import our local files. Well, first of all, you export your work. What you've been working on is what you export. But if you want to get that to appear on your Black Knight, yeah, you need a sort of a basic WordPress installation to overwrite with what you exported. Does that make sense, Bernard? Yeah, I was, yeah, just, I was, just, trying, trying. I was just trying to figure it out in my head. We use a dummy username and password to download WordPress onto Black Horse or any other host, Black yeah. Knight or any other host. And then after we've exported our localhost files and imported them onto the online version of, of WordPress, we then use the main username and password we've been using for the last few weeks. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because when you when you export, you're exporting your WordPress username and password. So when it comes time, would you basically like imagine like like you're taking the entire foundation of what you've got online and you're just superimposing everything from your local host onto it, which is going to include your username and password. So don't forget all that stuff. Don't forget if you call it Mr. Brightside, you need to remember all that, you know. And what about images? Say we have a file with all the images we have from the local host WordPress. Would we would those would we have to sort of bring them with them? Well, it, that file, the, the all-in-one WordPress migration wraps it all up, including images. Right. It puts images and everything into this file called .wordpress, you know? All right. So, uh, so you, you're probably asking yourself, well, why on earth would you ever not use a plugin? Uh, well, what if you don't want to migrate everything? Sometimes people would say, well, I don't want to migrate everything. I've got this website, I've been using it for 10 years. Uh, don't really want there's a lot of silly comments in there. I don't want to have to go through them with a fine tooth comb. It'll take too long. So I'll migrate everything that is not got spam comments or I blocked the user two years ago, but still there's eight years of her trolling happening on my website that I haven't had a chance to wipe yet. Or you might say, you know, my premises have updated. I don't really want all those old posts. So rather than go through it with a fine tooth comb, you would just uh, you would do it manually, and maybe only like like Bernard is saying, just take certain images. Do, do you know what I mean? So there is there is a reason to use it manually, but I think in your case, all of you want a hundred percent of your website migrated. So why not just use the all-in-one migration plugin? Does that make sense, everybody? Okay, so we've gone an hour, 30 minutes over. God bless your patience for hanging on here. I always go overboard time-wise when I'm teaching. Uh, thanks for your, your questions earlier. It's very important to get them out of the way. I want you to do well on this. You've all done so well by showing up and taking part. Real good class, really good class, you guys. Pleasure to teach, you know. This is the last lecture. And uh, you've come a long way, you know, especially when some of it's been online. This isn't easy to do. This is probably one of the... It kind of hopefully I haven't made it too complicated looking for you, but it's it's quite a technical module to get all this to work together, to get all these bits and pieces to work together, especially the configurations. So um, yeah, you've done really well. Very happy with the work that everyone's done so far. So all you got to do is take whatever you've done, polish it up into something that looks like a decent website on the local host, and migrate that. So in labs today, we'll we'll work on this. I'll get you on Infinity Free and. We'll try and do what I just did there. I'll look at any other questions you have, and um, you know I'll be very, I'll be happy. I, I'm gonna. I, I've only been doing this for one week. We need a good few, three or four. If I'm really gonna take 
SEO seriously. The website needs to be online for two or three weeks, you know, and like a plugin for SEO, you'd have to have it online for a number of weeks. And all those refinements about the redirecting, they're, they're quite complex to do. So when you type in, say, ahensman.com, it redirects to your WordPress site. And then as you saw earlier on my webs.com, I think I had other sites. I had like first name, last name.com. I had like, 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 but I mean, like you can, you can get anything to redirect to that. Do, do you know what I mean? At the moment, it doesn't redirect. I just need to change the index file like we did in week one. Um, I mean, but what if I want to have like companies also like say, you know, uh, politicians were all messing with each other last year during the elections, I think some senator and then it, Donald Trump's people managed to get it to link to the Donald Trump website anyway. Enough that you wouldn't be involved in anything like like that. But let's say, for example, I wanted to have, you know, like first name, last name dot com. So I have first Arnold Hensman dot com. I would want that to redirect to the same website, you know, and it's. Someone has done that on me there. That's there's a guy I've been dealing with there who's trying to sell me that for some strange reason. And. Uh, yeah, so that's that's this is interesting to see that. So if you just type in like first name, last name, sometimes people don't like that. That would redirect, you know. So this is again, it's just done in your domain. You literally just can, you know, once you've got a domain of any kind, um, you don't even have to write a code for it. You, you just redirect it to where you want it to go. So for example, on Black Knight, um, I've got my my domains. So where's my domain names? Websites. So I, I have several Black Knight accounts. So I, I, if I had like, for example, I could I could add to this same domain. I just need to add like ArnoldHensman.com or ArnieHensman.com or Hensman.com, you know? So um, that's why that's coming up. Someone, someone, some guy did that a few weeks ago. Uh, see when I go ArnoldHensman.com and it redirects to this site hensman.com some slick salesman in new york is trying to sell me that do you know how much he's trying to sell me that for two thousand and nine hundred dollars you know i don't know who he thinks he's kidding but to get your last name is actually quite expensive to get first name last name is is easy it's cheap enough to get um you know most, especially if it's ie if you got black knight look at look on it there and, and see what the pricing is you'll probably find first name last night la, la, first name last name is pretty cheap so yeah some some salesman was telling me oh look how good it's going to look i'll redirect it for you and anyway you don't need to know anything about that first name last name you'll get it for two or three euros okay doc so let's leave it there and i'll see you all in the labs so let's come back with quarter past one maybe can we do that for the group a subgroup a all right, so um, if you've got any questions on how to do that, I want you, you're, it's over to you now. You're going to do that. What I just did there about getting that uploaded, you're going to try and do that on Infinity Free. All right? So let's leave it there. Talk to you soon. Thanks.